Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today I'm going to be dealing with Windows Branch Cache. Uh, I'm doing everything within a Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 5 environment, which I'm assuming it's the latest and greatest, uh, you know, Windows Server 2016 image. So, uh, with Windows Branch Cache, from my understanding, there's two modes. There's hosted mode and there's distributed mode. I'm going to bring up the Paint app, and I'm I'm going to try to illustrate it as best as I can. So for hosted, uh, there's going to be a main site. This is the main, main site, okay? The main site uh, within the hosted, within the hosted mode has a, a hosted branch site. This is, this is a branch server, okay? This is a branch server right here. Cool. Now, the branch server is hooked up into your office that's connected to clients. These are your clients right here. Right? These are your clients. Clients, right? Awesome. So these are your clients. So your the main site has all the files. This is your file server. And then the branch server, what it does, it starts talking to the main site and then caches those files down here. And then your client starts talking... And then your client starts talking locally within your infrastructure to the branch server rather than going directly to the main site. Now, this is the hosted mode. Distributed basically eliminates the branch server within your infrastructure. And what it does is it still has a main server, right? It still has the clients. These are the clients right here. These are the clients. But rather than going to a branch server within your infrastructure, what it does is it locates a client. This is still a client. Or a client asks for a file, which, was, which is within the main site, caches it inside their own computer. And then if one of the clients within the infrastructure needs that file, those clients will go inside that client to get that file. This scenario is best if you cannot afford a server, right, within your office. So I'm going to show you guys how to get yourself up and running. So let's close this Paint app up, and let's get in. So within my Active Directory, uh, I created a couple of things. I have a BTNHD node. I have computers, which is a client computer, which is a Windows 10 machine. Uh, I created a server OU, and I have headquarters, which is my main site, which we're going to be configuring today. And we have hosted, which is this guy right here, okay? So within my main site, let's get started. So within this server, we're going to install our uh, branch cache uh, feature. So we're going to click on manage. We're going to go add roles and features. And we're going to click on next, next, next again. Now from here, you want to click on file storage and services. Click on file and iSCSI services. And all we're going to do is click on branch cache for network files. Okay. You want to add the features and click on next and click on next. And we're going to install. Okay. So the installation is completed. Awesome. That's always a good thing. We're going to click on close. The next thing that we need to do is create a local group policy, or you could actually create a global group policy uh, for your branch server. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to do a local group policy just to get everything up and running fast. But I, I believe best practice is you want to do this within a global environment, meaning you go to your active directory, you open up your uh, group policy editor, and then you do this uh, group policy, which I'm going to actually show you guys. Don't worry. So what we're going to do is uh, close the server manager. I am going to uh, right click on a start. I'm going to go run. And within run, I'm going to do GP edit. GP edit dot MSC, hit enter. I'm going to uh, expand this window. We're gonna expand the sidebar a little bit. Awesome. We need to get into computer configuration, administrative templates. Within administrative templates, we need to get into network. And within network, we need to locate uh, Lehman or Lerman, Lamman server right here. And we need to enable the hash 
has publication, hash publication for branch cache. So we need to double click on that and we need to enable that. Once you enable it, you want to make sure that you have allow hash publication for all share folders. Okay. We're going to click apply and we're going to press okay. Okay. Once you enable that feature, let's create a folder within our main site. So I'm going to close this guy up and we're going to go to our file explorer and within our file explorer, we're going to go to this PC. I'm going to drop everything in the C drive. So let's create a uh, right click, create new folder and let's call it BTNHD. And what we're going to do is right click on the folder. We're going to go to properties within properties. Once it loads up, we're going to go to sharing advanced sharing and within advanced sharing, we're going to share it out. We're going to go to caching within cachings. We have enable branch cache. So enable that click. Okay. Apply it. Okay. Okay. And then we're good to go. Now we did it locally. Let's say we want to do it globally. So go into your active directory. Our global group policy will be placed inside our headquarters because this is the node that has our main site. Let's open up our group policy editor. Okay. I'm going to open up this window. I'm going to expand the sidebar a little bit. Let's expand our forest. Let's go inside domains. Let's go inside my domain and I'm going to go inside group policy objects. Okay. I'm going to right click on it and I am going to do new, right? Within here, we are going to say enable, let's call it enable, uh, I don't know, enable hash for branch cash, right? Cause that's basically what we're doing and make sure you spell branch, right? There you go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to click. Okay. I'm going to expand the group policy objects. I'm going to right click on our new group policy and edit. Awesome. So I'm going to actually expand this window. Let's expand the sidebar a little bit again, like we did locally on our main site, go inside our computer configuration, go inside policies within policies, go inside administrative templates, locate network, expand that right here, network. And we need to we need to locate landman server. And we need to enable hash publication for branch cache. So we're going to double click on that guy. Okay. Once it loads up, we're going to enable it and you're going to make sure it says allow hash publication for all share folders. We're going to apply. Okay. It, and that's it. Our group policy is done. So what we need to do is attach this new group policy into our node where our main site server lives. So I'm going to expand my BTNHD OU. Go inside my servers again. Headquarters is where my main site computer lives. So I'm going to right click on it. Uh, I'm going to link an existing GPO. We're going to, we're going to select our new GPO, click okay. And that's it. You're good to go. If you want, you can actually uh, right click on it and enforce it. And that's it guys. Uh, that is the first video of configuring our main sites for our Windows branch cache uh, infrastructure. Uh, it's more videos, so stay tuned. Leave comments right below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.